we went walked around Portland a bit. downtown it's crazy hot mm -hmm. so we ended up changing shirts because ours became very sweaty so we spent some time through Powell's which is like the largest used bookstore I think in the world I don't know we'll, we'll fact check that but it's huge and I was really excited for Kyle to see that um, we walked through Chinatown a bit we almost went to wanted to go to Voodoo mm -hmm. Donut the line was very long and it's and hot no shade until you get very close and i've had voodoo donuts before so so we just that uh, maybe maybe some other time mm -hmm. so now we have mcdonald's we're gonna head to pitok mansion i don't know how to say that and then we're gonna do a small hike to witch's castle and then maybe walk around like a few different districts kind of outside of downtown so yep it's been fun Oh, so I asked Kyle if he likes Portland or Seattle better, and he said... Seattle. It's been fun. I like how Portland... is flat compared to Seattle. It's flat, and <clears throat> I feel like you can see and experience more in a smaller area, whereas Seattle, you really have to, like, walk pretty far to get to, like, different places, whereas, like, Voodoo's is, like, right by Chinatown and whatnot, so... Those are my thoughts and opinions, but it's been fun. I don't think Kyle realized that Keep Portland Weird was like... No, I definitely had heard it. I know, but I think you thought it was a joke. No. Well, then we'll just cut this all out. Yeah. Okay, so we are at Pitok. I don't know how to say it. Pitok Mansion. It was built in 1914. The wife, I think, crossed the Oregon Trail when she was nine, but we are at the top there are different trail parking spots along the way it's kind of an uphill windy road not too far out of downtown but we are gonna pay for parking here and then we're going to pay to go into the mansion museum and so we will put those numbers in the description or on the screen someone is really needing to park their lock their car but we're excited fun quick little drive so hopefully we'll film some and we'll tell you what we think about it later it looks like there's a lot of people in so we probably won't there's leave. a pot bus yeah we should get a picture of that <laughs> let's go around solving mysteries <laughs> it's called the portlandia no the potlandia experience yeah it looks like we're lucky to have found a parking spot yeah. It's also a really nice day and so with the trails I totally get that you know this is a fun place to come because it's a lot of trees and really shaded and so very fun. We're excited. We're outside of the, still don't really know how to pronounce it. Pitok, Pitok. The mansion. The mansion. The museum. There's 23 rooms and it's not all original furnishings and they do have some original things and those things are labeled but a lot of it is not but it's still really cool and then they have the gate lodge, which is closed right now, but all the people we've asked, the people the who work here, they all say that's the best part, unfortunately. And so we're gonna turn you around to show you the exterior of the mansion and then also this amazing view of Portland. So this is just one of the shots. Um, and then behind us. This is some of the view of Portland. And I imagine on a clear day you can really see the mountain line a lot better than today and also show. Yeah, you can't really see it. So 
So real fast, there are picnic benches here, picnic tables, and the grounds are free to visitors, and there's a bunch of trails you can walk as well. So you don't have to pay for the museum entrance and all those things. And I believe some of the parking lower on the hill is free as well. But this is a really, really nice spot, beautiful view. And it kind of reminds me of LA being at Griffith Observatory and just kind of like being able to look out and see the city. So here is obviously the mansion, trails and grounds, and then there is the viewpoint. There's this balcony patio that you can access from outside and so it's a lovely place to take pictures and it's looking into the music room. The, um, the entrance, they've been staggering people in because um, of COVID. They have stuff roped off. Um, but that's normal to like have stuff roped off. Yeah. So you can't really touch much in there. You can't touch anything in there. And um, we definitely were kind of holding up yeah, we, everyone. And so we were like, oh, they, go ahead of us. <laughs> yeah, they said it was a self tour. Mm -hmm. so we took our sweet time. And, and so, then, we had so other people either like didn't want to cut in front of us. And so we just had to kept telling people, go ahead, we're going to be a while. Mm -hmm. And then the downstairs level is like the museum. It's not so much the mansion, but it has um, just other facts about the area and the growth and development. Yeah, no, this was really interesting and um, I think it was worth it. Yeah, I think so too. Definitely something for everyone here. All right, Kyle, I've got some good news. Yeah. So I just chatted with the one couple Oh, that's hilarious. Other people have McDonald's in here, too. That's funny. They can do it. We can do it. So, yeah, they said it's very doable. 20 minutes down, 20 minutes up. She did it in sandals, and we figured it out. So, we are doing the Wildwood Trail to the Stone House, also called the Witch's Castle. It took us a long time to find this place. So, yep. hopefully it goes well. And Kyle was such a champ. I only cried a little. <laughs> for driving back and forth, and... We'll talk more about that later. So here we go. Yeah, it took about 20 minutes to get here. It's called Stone House or something. Um, Do you want to tell the story? I was under the impression of a tour or something. I don't really know. I don't really know what I was expecting, but this was not it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Whatever. I was expecting more graffiti. Um, it smells like graffiti. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was a short 20 minute hike. Uh, just a ton of graffiti. Oh, you already got footage of this, right? On the GoPro. Do Yeah, Amy was telling me a story about some guy lived here, some family lived here. With their nine children. Nine children. And then somebody married one of his daughters and didn't like it. And his name was Mortimer or something. I don't know. And the dad got mad and the next time he saw them, he shot Mortimer. And then he was hanged for it. Or hung for it. I don't know. So this is the remains of their house. And what would you think of the hike down? It was fine. I actually thought it was really lovely. It was a little rocky, but there were some bridges, some moss, and it's, you should show. So we're down here. I did show down there. Did you show that we came from all the way up there? Mm -hmm. No. I don't really know, but. So we came from way up there. From all the way up there. In the clouds. Yeah, I just wonder. How does nine people live in something like this? They don't have a roof. I know. I'm just, I thought there was going to be like a plaque at least. With a little more information. I 
think either cavemen <laughs> with the Neanderthals, the writings. Kind of fun. Sure. I liked it. I thought it's fun that it's kind of like a little hidden, you know, it doesn't have a plaque. So, anyways, I think we're gonna hike back up to the car and this is kind of the big activity for the day, or for the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long day. Yeah, I'm saying this is the end of our busy day. Yeah. So. I think what makes it really funny is that it's also like deep through the river, man. Yeah. All right, it's the morning. We're gonna go hit up Vancouver. We briefly thought about doing Tillamook, kind of going to the coast. Originally, we were going to go to kind of Eastern Oregon. But we're pretty tired and we've got kind of a busy week. And we're stinky. And we're very stinky. And so we're gonna go hit up Vancouver and just kind of head home today. And it'll be nice. And we also ran out of clothes really quickly because we were not planning on coming here. <laughs> I wasn't planning it to be in the 80s. Yeah, we weren't. It was in the high 80s yesterday and today it's gonna be in the mid 80s, so. So that was never something that we anticipated where we were originally going. It was like 70s, 70s and it was all like, um, wooded and so we'd be like in the shade and whatnot and so honestly we'd probably be more like 60s anyways goodbye Portland it's been fun keep Portland weird we're at Fort Vancouver looks like everything's closed probably because it's a Sunday it's beautiful. Yeah, there's the fort which we're gonna go walk around. We got the garden. Here field, and this is an English garden, so we'll just do a quick walk around, see what we can see. The parking lot's closed, so it's really just kind of the trails. But it's really, really nice here, and so we're just gonna spend a little time and, and head home. Yeah, we're heading home. This is the biggest bee I've ever seen. See how big this bee is. Yeah, you gotta see this. <laughs> this bee's like the size of my thumb. <laughs> <laughs>